A warm greeting to all travel enthusiasts and curious minds tuning in today. We're about to embark on an exciting journey through the heart of Eastern Europe, Kiev, the capital city of Ukraine. This city is an exquisite blend of the old and the new, seeped deep in history while still embracing the modern world. Kiev is a city where the past meets the future, where tradition melds seamlessly with innovation. Here, golden dome churches stand tall amidst a skyline of modern architecture. The city's rich history is a melting pot of influences from the ancient Rus, through the Mongol Empire, to the Soviet era and beyond. But it's not just about history. Kiev is a vibrant, bustling city, brimming with culture and creativity. From its bustling markets to its thriving art scene, from its lush parks to its vibrant nightlife, Kiev is a city that truly has something for everyone. So strap in, and prepare to be transported to the charming city of Kiev. Our first stop takes us back to the early 12th century, to the magnificent St. Michael's Golden Domed Monastery. In the heart of Kiev, this monastery stands tall, an embodiment of the city's rich history, faith, and architectural prowess. Founded in the 12th century by Kiev's Grand Prince, it's named after the patron saint of Kiev, St. Michael, the Archangel. The monastery has seen a lot over the centuries. It has stood firm through the ups and downs of history, surviving destruction and reconstruction. Even when it was demolished in the Soviet era, the spirit of the monastery refused to die. It was painstakingly rebuilt in the late 90s, a testament to the resilience of the Ukrainian people. The architecture of the monastery is a sight to behold. It's a beautiful mix of the Byzantine and Baroque styles, the two dominant architectural influences in Kiev during the time of its construction. But what truly sets it apart are its stunning golden domes. They shine brightly under the sun, reflecting light in a way that seems almost divine. Inside the monastery is just as impressive. The frescoes and mosaics that adorn the walls are incredibly detailed, telling stories of faith and devotion. They're a silent testament to the craftsmanship of the artists who created them all those centuries ago. A visit to Kiev would be incomplete without experiencing the majestic aura of St. Michael's Golden Domed Monastery. It's a place where you can feel the weight of history, the beauty of architecture, and the strength of faith all at once. Moving on from the spiritual tranquility of the monastery, we stroll down the historic Andrew's Descent. Here, the pulse of Kiev's vibrant art scene beats strong. This winding, cobbled street steeped in history and folklore is the city's cultural artery, teeming with life and creativity. Andrew's Descent, or Andreevsky Uzvis as locals call it, is not just a street, it's a living, breathing canvas. Wall to wall with galleries, studios, and craft shops, the descent is a testament to the city's thriving artistic community. Here you can find everything from traditional Ukrainian embroidery to avant-garde sculptures, all lovingly crafted by local artisans. But it's not just about the art. Andrew's Descent is also home to a host of charming cafes and restaurants, where you can sample authentic Ukrainian cuisine while soaking up the creative atmosphere. The street is a symphony of sights, sounds, and tastes, a sensory delight that captures the essence of Kiev. Let's not forget the street's historical significance. Named after St. Andrew who, according to legend, ascended this very hill, the descent has been a central part of Kiev's cultural fabric for centuries. It's seen the city grow and evolve, bearing witness to its many transformations. With its bohemian vibes, Andrew's descent is truly the artistic heart of Kiev. It's where creativity and culture intersect, a place where the spirit of the city is not just seen but deeply felt. Whether you're an art enthusiast or a history buff, this charismatic street promises a unique and unforgettable experience. Next we journey to the 11th century to marvel at the oldest standing church in Kiev, the St. Sophia Cathedral. Named after the Hagia Sophia in Constantinople, this grand cathedral is an architectural marvel that effortlessly blends Byzantine and Ukrainian Baroque styles. Its 13 glistening green and gold domes rise majestically against the skyline, a visual treat for any beholder. Dive into the cathedral's history and you'll find yourself immersed in a tale of resilience and preservation. Built by the Grand Prince of Kiev, Yaroslav the Wise, the cathedral has withstood the test of time, surviving Mongol invasions, world wars, and periods of neglect. It's a living testament to Kiev's enduring spirit and rich historical tapestry. Step inside, and you'll be greeted by the cathedral's breathtaking interior. 
The walls are adorned with one of the world's largest collections of 11th century mosaics and frescoes, each telling a unique story, each a masterpiece in its own right, and the cathedral's significance extends beyond its aesthetic appeal. It's a symbol of Ukraine's Christian Orthodox faith and a beacon of cultural identity. It's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recognized for its outstanding universal value. The St. Sophia Cathedral is more than just a place of worship. It's a chronicle of Kiev's past, a tribute to its resilience, and a beacon of its cultural identity. The St. Sophia Cathedral stands as a testament to Kiev's enduring spirit and rich historical tapestry. We now venture into the spiritual epicenter of Eastern Orthodox Christianity, the Holy Dormition, Kiev Caves Lavra. Steeped in the echoes of the past, the Lavra stands as a testament to a deep-rooted spiritual tradition. Its history begins in the 11th century, when a monk named Anthony moved to Kiev and founded a monastic community in the caves. This humble beginning gave birth to a sprawling complex, a labyrinth of chapels, towers, and catacombs, that has served as a beacon to the faithful for centuries. The Lavra's network of catacombs is a marvel in itself. It's a subterranean world where the air is thick with reverence and the scent of burning candles. This is the final resting place of the Lavra's monks, their bodies naturally mummified by the cave's unique conditions. A journey through these catacombs is a journey through the ages, a walk in the footsteps of those who devoted their lives to their faith. But the Lavra isn't just about the past, it continues to be a living, breathing part of Orthodox Christianity. It's a place of worship, a place of pilgrimage, a place where the faithful come to seek solace, guidance, and spiritual nourishment. Its walls have witnessed the ebb and flow of history, but its essence remains unchanged. The architecture of the Lavra is a feast for the eyes. The golden domes of the Dormition Cathedral reach towards the heavens, catching the light and shimmering against the sky. The bell tower, the highest in Ukraine, stands tall and proud, its chimes resonating across the city. Each building within the Lavra is a piece of art, crafted with care and devotion. The Holy Dormition. Kiev Caves. Lavra is not just an attraction, it's a journey into the heart of Ukraine's spiritual heritage. It's a place that invites reflection, that stirs the soul, that connects us to a tradition that has withstood the test of time. The Holy Dormition Kiev Caves Lavra, a beacon of faith and a marvel of architectural grandeur. Our journey concludes with two modern landmarks of Kiev, Kreschatik, the city's main street, and the towering Motherland Monument. Let's turn our attention to Kreschatik, the pulsing artery of Kiev. Reconstructed after the Second World War, this street is a testament to the resilience of the Ukrainian people. Post-war architects sculpted Kreschatik into a wide boulevard lined with towering Stalinist buildings, creating a grand spectacle that's both imposing and charming. As we stroll down this lively thoroughfare, the city's heartbeat resonates through the lively cafe culture, the vibrant street performances and the hustle and bustle of locals and tourists alike. Kreschatik is more than just a street, it's a living, breathing entity that embodies the spirit of modern Kyiv, a city that's constantly moving, evolving and surprising. Now let's shift our gaze skyward, towards the Motherland Monument. Standing at a staggering height of 91 meters, this stainless steel titan is an unmissable feature of Kyiv's skyline. The statue, wielding a sword and shield, is a powerful symbol of Ukraine's enduring strength and resilience. The monument is part of the Museum of the History of Ukraine in World War II, a tribute to the millions who sacrificed their lives for the nation's freedom. Every detail of the Motherland Monument tells a story. The shield in the statue's left hand bears the state emblem of the Soviet Union, a nod to the country's past, while the sword in her right hand points towards the future, symbolizing Ukraine's determination to forge ahead, no matter the challenge. This towering figure is not just a tribute to the past but also a beacon of hope for the future. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Ukrainian people, a spirit that continues to shape the nation's destiny. The Motherland Monument like Kreschatik is more than just a landmark. It's a symbol of a nation that has endured and continues to thrive. It stands tall, not just as a reminder of the struggles of the past but as a beacon of hope for the future. And that in essence is modern Kyiv, a city that's steeped in history yet brimming with contemporary energy. A city that remembers its past yet eagerly anticipates its future. A city that's as vibrant and dynamic as Kreschatik, and as resilient and enduring as the Motherland Monument. From the bustling Kreschatik to the commanding Motherland Monument, modern Kyiv is a city that embraces its past while looking towards the future. 
As our journey through Kyiv comes to an end, we reflect on the city's rich history, vibrant culture and enduring spirit. We've wandered through the hallowed halls of St. Michael's Golden Domed Monastery, a shining beacon of faith and resilience. We've strolled down the historic Andrew's descent, tracing the steps of countless artists, writers and dreamers who have walked this path before us. We've marveled at the architectural splendor of St. Sophia Cathedral, a testament to the city's enduring faith and artistic prowess. We've been humbled by the serenity and spiritual depth of the holy Dormition Kiev Caves Lavra. We've felt the heartbeat of the city pulsating through the bustling streets of Kreschatik and have stood in awe of the towering Motherland Monument, a symbol of the city's strength and resilience. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Kiev. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.